the Githyanki are leaving us. An unlikely place to find ourselves, fighting on the same side as them. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. So, what now? I don't know about you, but I could use a flagon, or three of ale. <laughs> Surely we're due to be fated as heroes in this place. We'll drink for free. If any tavern survived. Then this is where we part ways. I have business to attend to here. And a life to rebuild. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this, but part of me will miss you. I will miss you too. Now that you no longer live in each other's minds, it's hard to tell if the mind flare is being sincere, though perhaps no harder than it ever was. If only you defied your father when you had the chance and freed yourself of your dark desires. But it's too late now. Your destiny is set. Your very blood shall clot with the urge, and that hungry desire will consume you. You may have freed the world from the control of the nether brain, but you are not yet free. Your father is angry. What foul punishment awaits you now that you have rejected him? Even now, your desires threaten to consume you. Your only hope is that a prison will be sufficient to contain you while you spend the rest of your life pondering your sins. But it seems your father has other ideas. It's over. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thou remainest in thy chains, separate from the light of the world, removed from its temptations. Thou feared thou would be a slave to thy desires. Dost thou still fear that which lurks within thee? Hast thy cruel father taken all of thee that thou once was? There thou art, amid the ravenings of thy cruel sire, thy soul intact. The realm of men will forget thee, books left bare to be filled with falsehood, myth, and superstition. The tapestry of fate, however, will not forget, nor will I. Rest well, friend. Thou deservest as much. Till next we meet, remember, Thou gave all thou wert to save lives, to reclaim the world from a fate most dire. Well done. Six months have passed since you defeated the Netherbrain, and since then you have seen more of life than you ever thought possible. 
you are greeted as a savior, a champion, a hero. But sometimes you feel like something else entirely. An adventurer, a traveler, a survivor. You faced down the gods. You thwarted the grand design. Anything seems possible. But before you can write the next chapter of your story, you must end this one. That's why you're going back to where all of this began, answering an invitation to gather with your allies and friends. Thou wert called here, some from above. One among you could not truly attend, but the pull of Wither's magic called you still. Listen and enjoy, though you'll be little more than a breeze ruffling your companion's hair. I've got a long road ahead. No time to rest. The sacks of unclaimed blood cheer one another. Will you, thorn-pricked pile of nothing, leer? No mortal cell could hold you. The bars broke like bones. Your curdled mind is eager for their sleep, so you can strike with the death dream. Each day you sing his hymns, each night you dream in red. Not long now, not long. Wait until they are at rest to strike. Patience. Iron. Salt. A stagnant marrow treat. The revelry is falling to a lull. Your witching hour draws close. Pity gags in your gullet. Yes, they will die. Yes, just for you. 